All right, everybody, welcome to the channel. Hey, we're just going to come out and say it. We are Lions fans. I know that might sound weird. We have a channel called Sports Talk Detroit. We have another one, Sports Talk Extra, but here's the deal. We are also Michigan fans. Over my shoulder here, you can see the Michigan helmet. Pretty soon, there's going to be a Harbaugh picture, either there or there or there. Uh, signed Harbaugh picture. We love Jim Harbaugh. And so when he got the job with the Chargers, we said, hey, Let's ride this thing and let's start a Chargers channel as well because we know what Jim Harbaugh is going to bring to that franchise and it is going to change things. And we are going to start by talking about two moves that were made. Both of them were honestly kind of under the radar. You almost had to search for them in order to find them. But the first one is someone that he is going to bring with him from Michigan, and the next one is someone from the past, a very good someone from the past. So let's talk about it. The first one you had to go to Michigan websites to be able to find because this is something that NFL teams and NFL reporters honestly don't do enough reporting about. I think this is viewed as something that's more important in the college circles, and that's just false, and I'm going to give you evidence to back that up. But strength coach Ben Herbert is leaving Michigan for Harbaugh and the Chargers. So if you don't know who uh, Ben Herbert is, uh, Jim Harbaugh has referred to him as Michigan's secret weapon. Uh, Michigan, under Harbaugh's tenure, and you're going to see this happen with the Chargers, but faster uh, because the players are already closer. But Michigan under Harbaugh, spent they were immediately better. And then they kind of had this little lull. And I think we're going to talk about this more when I talk about the second coaching hire. But that is something that people have experienced in year four or five with Harbaugh. As he starts to wear on the team, wear on the players. I think that's an old false narrative. But we'll get to that in a second. But it, it was at its all-time low in 2020, the COVID year. They won two games. Now they only played like six or seven. But they only won two games. They restructured Harbaugh's contract. And insert a guy named Ben Herbert. All right, so here's Ben Herbert, and he starts working with these young players, and he starts building them up in the strength training program. And then what you see the result of that is four years later, you see us as a Michigan Wolverines team looking as fast or faster, as strong, definitely stronger than Alabama. You see us outclass um, Washington. And that is something that never happened at Michigan. That hasn't happened at Michigan since 1997. So the fact that he was able to do that is unbelievable. He said for the past seven years, uh, Jim and I have worked side by side through the highest of highs and the lowest of lows. Yes, that is exactly right. Um, ben said, I have never once seen his commitment to me or to Michigan football waiver. He is an incredible representation of intelligence, consistency, and commitment. All right? There's absolutely no doubt. So this is this is kind of a cool thing um, when you look at it. Uh, I, I'm sad for a Michigan fan, but good for you. Harbaugh called Michigan's X Factor and secret weapon in recent years. He's talking about Ben Herbert. All right? Now Michigan's coming off three Big Ten titles, college football national title, and now all of a sudden people are like, oh, yeah, Harbaugh can coach. Yeah, he could coach when he was with the 49ers. But that's the difference with this Michigan team. And I'm going to give you the next hire that you had that I thought was very interesting, a name you might find familiar. Now, Bleach Report used a Raiders picture. They should have used a, uh, a 49ers picture because this is Navarro Bowman. You'll remember him from spending seven years in the Bay with the 49ers. He was, I believe, a four-time um, all pro. No, he was first team. Yeah. First team all pro four times. That's nuts. Over his eight year career, he had 798 tackles, 14 sacks, five picks. And quite frankly, he was the best linebacker in the game for a, a stretch of four to five years until it started taking a toll on his body. All right. And he couldn't play anymore, but here's the deal with Bowman. Here's the deal with Bowman. He was on those 49ers teams with Harbaugh where Harbaugh ran his course. All right? Now, the NFL is a different game than it was 10 years ago. First, we understand that. But also, Jim Harbaugh is a different guy. 
When you look at what Michigan built after that 2020 season, it looked like there was the first two or three years, everything was going great. We were super excited about what Harbaugh was building. And then things started to get weird. He almost looked like a shell of himself. And then 2020 happens, and after that, you see a new Harbaugh publicly. It is constantly giving credit to the players, to the coaching staff, taking the credit off him. He seems to, he seemed to be much more mild-mannered, easygoing. He was less expressive even on the sidelines. Don't get me wrong, he's still the ultimate competitor. That's what he's always been, is the ultimate competitor. But he's more calm on the sidelines, and you see interviews with players, and they're talking about Harbaugh, and they're saying, you know what? And they're asking, what makes the difference? How are you guys able to overcome Ohio State this year? How are you able to win the Big Ten this year? How are you able to get national championship? And they cited a few things. But one, they talked about how the coaching staff had set this team up to be a, a single unit, a team, cohesive, and that they really stressed and built upon the relationships that teammates had. He go, And they would say, you would even hear players say, it wasn't always that way here. Jim Harbaugh learned from his one weakness. All right, he learned from his one weakness, and now he's coming back to the NFL with the mentality that I can be here for a while. And... I can build upon these things. As he said, there's only so many sands in the hourglass. And when you're a head coach, when you are as competitive as him, and you realize all of a sudden, hey, there's only so much time. He's 63 years old, right? You get a level of perspective that you may not have had in your early 50s. It's just or late 40s. That's just simply the way it goes. So now he's a guy who has more experience. We know that he has the chops to coach in the NFL. He's brought a 49ers team to the Super Bowl. All right? And, by the way, that team did not get better when he left. Like, the best years were with him. And then now with Shanahan. But I am so excited to see what he can do, not just with Herbert. Like, we know he loves Herbert. He made that very clear. But I'm excited to see what this offensive line becomes when you put the proper offense in it. I'm excited to see what some of these defensive players start to look like. Derwin James having a comeback here. Asante Samuel Jr. Like, I'm telling you, there are going to be players that all of a sudden you're like, ah, that's who he's supposed to be. Bosa, look out this year. All right, if he can stay healthy. All right, we hope you like the channel. We want to become a go-to spot for you for Chargers content. We will be putting out videos every every day. Every single day, um, make sure to like and subscribe so you get the little notification letting uh, you know that we have a new video out there. Hey, we'll see you. Enjoy the nice sunny weather in California while we are in the cold in Michigan, but feeling warm because we're reporting on you. All right, thanks for watching. See you all on the next one, hopefully.